Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a C project in NetBeans IDE and how you can compile and execute your C project. In order to create a new project, click on File, New Project, and then in the categories list, find C, C++. In the right hand side, you can see the projects list. Here, you need to choose C, C++ application, then click on Next. You need to provide a name for your project. So I'm giving first demo and then you need to choose a location where the project folder is going to be created. By default, the NetBeans projects is the location. You can change this by clicking on this browse button. I'm just going to my home directory. Here I'm creating a new folder by clicking on this icon in the top right corner. I'm providing a name for my new folder, so C code, and that's going to be my location for the project. So you can see that the project location is slash users slash shibaji slash C code. So within this C code folder, a folder project folder is going to be created with name first demo, and within that, all the files of my project are going to be saved. The next is you need to select the name for the main file. If you don't want the ID to create the main file for your project, you can check this off. I want the ID to create the main file, so I'm checking it on. And then I need I can provide a name for the main file. By default, it's going to be main.c. There are three options, C, C++ and Fortran. If you want to create a C++ program, then it should be CPP. Okay, it's C for us then click on the finish button in order to create the project so this is the basic configuration and i'm clicking on the finish button so here is the first demo enlisted in the project window you can see that this project window enlists all the projects which are open currently with my ide these are the projects that i have created recently while developing this tutorial so this is our first demo if the project window is not visible to you, if it is closed somehow, then you can get it back just by clicking on Windows and Projects. You can minimize this on the left hand sidebar and you can click on this project to get it back. You can dock it by clicking on this dock button. Under the Source Files node, you will find this main.c double click on that and this is the main file that your id has created and this contains a function main that's the entry point to any c program if you want your c program to execute then you should have a function named main i will explain each and every line of this file in the coming tutorial but here what we are doing we are just going to execute this program and I will show you how to do that. I'm just writing a printf statement. Now a printf is a library function. It actually prints a string or any formatted data into the output console. A string is a set of characters. Your name or address or any message or text is a string. And in C programming, we represent a string within double quotes. So this hello world is a simple message that is enclosed within double quotes. And we are passing this to the printf function. That's the library function that's already written there in the library. And it knows how to print something into the output console. So we are, we are taking the advantage of that. There are a bunch of library functions actually that comes with the C compiler. And we will get to know some of them during this tutorial as well. And the function printf is going to print this hello world message into the output console. This backslash n is a special character. We say that this is escape sequence. Um, the purpose of backslash n is to create a new line into the output console so that if I go on and print something else, then it will be in the next line. Or the system is going to print something else after this hello world, then that will be printed in the next line as well. For the time being, we don't need this at all. I will be discussing about these parameters to the main function. 
later on in the probe in the tutorial and they are, these are called actually the command line arguments we'll be dealing with that you can just omit that and the rest of the thing are okay and I will be explaining them in the next tutorial what are the purposes of these header files and this return statement will be explaining all those things so okay now I'm going ahead and running this program in order to run the program you just click on this run menu and then find the run project here click on this the program is going to be compiled and executed you can see that the hello world is printed here so we have successfully executed our first program in C using NetBeans IDE thank you